If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable coins for your college football 25 team, check out my coin sponsors at MMOXP and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The champ is here! Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing out the college cheese as always. In today's video, I'm going to go over everything that's wrong with College Football 25 that needs to be fixed. And I'm also going to go over a wish list for College Football 26, although they're kind of the same thing. I'm hoping that the issues that I go over are going to get addressed in College Football 25 before the, the season is done. But I'm not necessarily sure if they're going to be able to fix everything that I'm going to go over on this list. So, like I said, it's kind of a wish list for 26, but it's also a wish list for 25 because a lot of these issues I'm going to go over are so game breaking that you really can't even enjoy the game this year and if ea wants to have this game continue on past the college football season which is coming to an end in you know a couple of months here uh they're really going to have to patch some of these things because there's a lot of major issues that are causing a lot of problems for a lot of different modes uh but before i do these the, a lot of stuff i'm going to go over are going to be comments that you guys have left my my followers or the people that watch my videos have left in the comment section to let me know these are issues so i don't play every mode i don't know every issue in the game but i get a lot of help from you guys in the comment section so if you guys want me to make more videos like this as always please make sure to be a subscriber like button let me know in the comment section and if you guys need more help or more money plays you can download any of my ebooks instantly simply by clicking links in the description or the top pinned comment i just finished alabama's offensive ebook i got an offense and defense for both alabama and georgia two of the better teams in the game that a lot of people use so check those out if you need help other than that let's go and get right into the video now the first one i'm going to read here is not a comment that was actually on uh, my channel it was a comment on a forum but he really broke down down a lot of stuff and I just wanted to read this off uh, because to me this is gonna you know basically give a pretty good idea of all the things that are broken in this game now he starts off kind of small he says no notice no alterations to sock or sleeve long sleeve primarily or secondary color I don't know why a lot of people really get into uh, uniforms don't get me wrong I would really like I like when they add new uniforms I would like for my own personal you know preference i only really play road to college football playoffs i would love to be able to change uniforms in college football playoffs forget playbooks for once that's not too, too too big of an ask that when i go into a game there's so many great uniforms in college there's so many great ones that come out every single year let me choose a uniform let me pick a uniform i don't understand how that's difficult for it's something that's been in madden for 20 years now to let me pick a uniform before i go into a game would not be too much to ask but also changing playbooks don't allow custom playbooks i'm cool with that but let me change playbooks the idea that they put into the, in everybody's head is that they didn't want people using overpowered. They want people using Alabama or another overpowered team with, uh, you know, like the, uh, the the army playbook or something. Or the, you know what I mean? Like that doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. Nobody wants to use the flex bone more than they want to use Alabama's playbook. Alabama's playbook is one of the best in the game. If you're telling me that the reason that they're not putting the option to change playbooks is because they don't want the best teams to use the best playbooks. That doesn't make any sense because Alabama and Georgia are two of the best teams with two of the best playbooks. Georgia alone is a pro style offense that has gun bunch, gun bunch, Y flex. These are all meta style offenses. Uh, Alabama's offense has, I think the second most gun formations, which is always the meta out of any playbook in the game. I think you have to go to like some really small school. I forget what, but I, I did this in a, in a video where I went through all the playbooks and I think only one team had more gun formations. So these are both highly two of the best playbooks in the game. So the idea that they don't want you to use, that's just, that's just lip service. They have an issue that they're, that they don't know how to do they're having issues where they don't know how to to implement that into the online play there's some sort of save issue going on which i'm sure we've all noticed where you where you came you can't save death charts which like i said I, I started this video by saying i'm going to read off this guy's uh comments but that's another issue you can't save depth charts when you go into uh dynasty games offline at least i don't know if it's online but it also resets your settings from tap and hold to uh tap or from tap and tap to tap and hold if you have it on tap and tap which i have it always resets that it always resets your um, your heat seeking window to 100% which I keep at 200% I made videos about that as well about how overpowered that is um, there's a lot of stuff that just doesn't save from mode to mode and it's almost like all these modes are acting independently if you set your settings or you set your depth chart in the home screen where you go to manage rosters and order depth chart it doesn't carry over into the game you know what I mean? Like when you go on a road to a road to college football playoff game, there's some issue that they're having where all these things are just not communicating with one another, and they're all acting independently. And it's just to the point where every game you go into, you gotta pause and hope your your uh, your opponent isn't gonna be a jerk and try to go back into a game right away, give you a few seconds to actually reset your depth chart. Or like I said, every game there's just small quality of life issues like that. An another bigger bug that I've run into a lot recently is if you actually do custom playbooks, because I know a lot of people are saying they want custom playbooks on online. 
in head to head, but it's not gonna work out because I just, for a coaching session yesterday, I made a full video about this, about there's a bug in the game right now where if you make a custom playbook and you hit 500 plays, at least that's what I thought it was, if you hit 500 plays in a custom playbook, it would glitch out to the point where you can't change your audible plays or access them when you're actually playing because I had this problem just yesterday again and I didn't get the 500 plays. I only got the 423. I added two formations that I wanted to go over with my coaching session with my client and it was it, it blanked out all the, the custom, all, all the audibles for all the, all the formations. I couldn't make any offensive audibles. How can you play a game with no audible function? You know what I mean, that just makes it in, r impossibly ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. So you can't really play a game. All you can do is choose one play and you can't change plays. So if I choose a play, a run play, I have no choice. If they pack the box, if they come out in goal line and I chose a run play, I'm screwed. I can't change formations. I can't audible to nothing else. If I come out in a pass play and they're dropping everybody back, you know what I mean? It says you can't play a functional game like that. So custom playbooks are absolutely broken anyway. For people saying that they want custom playbooks in uh, regular game modes, it's not going to work out. They're, they're, they're totally broken. There is some issue when it comes to saving anything in this game. I don't know what's going on, but it just seems like they have no idea how to fix it. If they haven't fixed it yet... By now, I think our best hope is going to be College Football 26, which is a shame because this game is really fun. It's really well made. Um, I also would like, I mean, if we're going to continue to go down this path, I would say I'd like some new plays. They have so many new plays in this game, but I really feel like all they're really going to do is port some of the plays, some of the great plays in this game over to Madden year after year because I really feel like in the past it used to feel like um, maybe Madden. A lot of people thought coming into this year anyway that, that Madden was going to be a copy and paste or college football was going to be a copy and paste of Madden. It's the exact opposite. It feels like they were building college football 25 behind the scenes and they liked it so much that they wanted to basically use that as the, as the structure for Madden. So that's why you're seeing all the college football functions that were new, like the switch stick and the new passing uh, type getting added to Madden retroactively. You know what I mean? It's not the other way around. Nothing that got built for Madden is getting added to college football. It's all getting added to Madden from college football. So in the future, I don't know if they're going to have new plays. I'm sure they'll add new plays every year. But I really think that when it comes to Madden, they're just going to get the hand-me-downs. There's so many plays in College Football 25. There's so much unique plays in College Football 25 that aren't in Madden. I feel like eventually they're just going to, you know, year by year. I feel to me like they're working more on College Football than they're working on Madden. If you've seen the updates, they're doing way more work to try to get College Football right than they are Madden. That's why, to me, I'm not playing Madden very much because it's falling behind. But College Football 25 is uh it has so many new plays that i feel like they're just going to port over some to, to madden every year to make it feel like hey we got new plays you know what i mean but it's really just going to be ports over from college football that's my guess not 100 percent sure about that but like i said i wanted to read this guy's comment i just went off on a tangent based off of some of the things uh that i saw but uh the bigger ones are going to be things like no patches for the custom conference uh uniform and field logo anomalies conference scheduling errors this is the big one here uh, that is really costing a lot of people and I get this sense from you guys in the comment section that the cuff conference scheduling errors Continue to be a bigger issue. I feel like they're really trying to address this and the next patch coming up I, I, I put out a video a little while ago saying that it sounds like they're really trying to address this issue Although in the last update even though there were no patch notes uh, there was a tweet from uh, a youtuber who's pretty connected to EA in Bordeaux uh, He was actually at EA studios when they were running the the first gameplays and stuff He was playing against one of the cover athletes uh, so he's pretty connected, but he said, he reposted in that, that he said that they, they addressed that issue or they tried to patch that issue. Let me know in the comments section if that issue is still happening, because the feeling I get is that it's still happening from the comments that I'm getting. So a lot of times EO will say they fixed something, but they really didn't. Uh, and it might be a thing where you have to restart your franchise or whatever, but, um, you know, there's, there, there's just not a lot of, when they don't put out a proper communication about these things, it really doesn't help anybody that's having these issues. So that would be a, a wish list item too. Communicate all the patches better. You know what I mean? Put out more information about what you patched. Don't just put out the information that you want people to know. Put out the information that people need to know. Things that actually got patched, things that actually got fixed, things that actually, a lot of times they'll put out patch notes and they, and there'll still be things that they won't, they won't mention in the patch notes, like hidden stuff that you have to figure out like oh that's different as you're playing the game so stuff like that like be more transparent i know they don't want the bad publicity they like to put out the stuff that they fix so they get good publicity from it a lot of times they don't like to put out like yeah this was really broken like they're not really talking about a lot of these issues 
very much and if it wasn't for channels like this in the comment section of this video or uh you know forums on ea's website nobody would know that they're not the only ones having these problems so it's good to communicate these things and put pressure on ea to fix them because this is a game that a lot of us like to play and it would be better if it was actually working better uh simming results is still an issue team poll rankings is still an issue uh and it says uh bowl game qualifications have not changed in months i know a lot of uh when it comes to like rewards like who gets the heisman who gets um you know certain uh position rewards and stuff like that they're kind of whack because i only really i don't play a lot of offline dynasty but i do have one i played a full season i wanted to win a national championship with texas state to see how you know how easy it would be and when i won the national championship number one my receiver <clears throat> led the league in everything by a lot catches yards touchdowns everything got no he got nothing he didn't get any he didn't get receiver of the year nothing no heisman votes nothing and i won that national championship so that's something like they got to fix stuff like that uh as far as like who wins what i know another comment i saw said that they don't actually keep uh, record of who won the heisman and stuff like that he has a player i think that he said won the heisman twice and it's not in his in his record at all i think when you win the heisman and stuff like that maybe you get, i think you might get a boost uh, I know in Madden, like if you win an award, you go from like superstar to X Factor and stuff like that. I think there's something like that in college, or like I said, I really don't know because I don't. I only played one season just to just to win a national championship, and now I just mostly play online against people live. But I do think that uh, it would people would be nice if you keep track of things, and that's been an issue with Madden once again all, for for years. I don't know. All these things seem like they're memory based. I don't know if EA is being so cheap that they just don't have enough uh, memory. That they that they're trying to to store these things, but that's been an issue in Madden for years, where you couldn't go back and see who won the Super Bowl, you couldn't go back and see uh, stats for previous years and stuff like that. So it feels like it's carried over uh, to college because, like I said, even though I feel like college is um, you know the lead horse and it's basically passing stuff down to Madden. I do still feel like they built college off of an old Madden version. When they started building College Football 25 from whatever year they started, probably like Madden 20 or something, whenever they started developing it again, um, it feels like they took Madden and they built College 25 from that current Madden. They just basically altered it so they had to build it from the ground up. And now that they've built it to the point that they have, now they're working retroactively and putting the stuff back to Madden. That's how it feels. And that's also why it's having a lot of the same issues like the custom playbook bug, which is something that's been in Madden for like 20 years, where basically if you hit five, that's why I thought if you hit 500 plays, that's why you lost access to all your audibles because that's a common glitch that's been in Madden for a very long time where your playbook would glitch if you did that. Well, now, like I said, I only added two formations to a normal team playbook. I think it was Texas A&M or something. I don't, I don't remember. But it was whatever team playbook my, my client was using. And it glitched out the playbook and took away all the audibles from there. So it's like, it just seems like they don't have this figured out. You know what I mean? It's like, I can't even figure it out, but they definitely don't have this figured out. I don't think they know how to fix these things. <clears throat> I think that common bug is why they removed the custom playbook because even in Madden 25 or 25 you can't use custom playbooks in there either because it's such an issue and i really feel like the reason that 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 they basically sacrificed custom playbook i went over this in a previous video too is because they wanted to implement and they knew they were trying to implement the ability to save audibles which would be almost impossible in custom playbooks and it's odd it's not it's really not odd if you think about it but why is it that when you make a custom playbook now they just implemented a week or two ago in college football 25 the ability to save custom audibles throughout every game mode so whether you're in practice mode whether you're in the home screen whether you're in a game if you set your audible plays in any playbook that will save throughout the entire game which is a really cool feature but it's not surprising that when they implemented that that all of a sudden when you go into a, when you create a custom playbook which is not part of that system because they don't allow you to use custom playbooks in uh online head-to-head -head or in um you know other modes i guess only head that might be the only one you can't use it in mutt or cut but now the custom audibles are gone like you because they i feel like when they implemented that the reverse effect was that it messed up custom playbooks to the point where you can't even have your audible options because they're not part of that system does that make sense to me it does because it's the same thing you you, you created something where you could have custom we can have Audible, custom audible save throughout the entire game in regular team playbooks but you didn't include custom playbooks and now when you create a custom playbook your audibles are gone or at least the two the very few times that i've used that function because i don't use custom playbooks very often i didn't even create my own this year they're, they're 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 breaking every single time so to me they're connected now another issue is the play art itself simple stuff that really shouldn't be a problem like play art have you ever noticed when you're in man coverage if you if you hit one of the triggers to pull up the the screen and see who's man assigned to what a lot of times certain players 
the play art doesn't even show that they're manning somebody. And you have to take it on faith that they're going to man the correct guy. Because sometimes if you run man coverage and you pull that up and you see that there's nobody man to an assignment, that receiver doesn't have anybody covering him. And he'll just run straight down the field uncovered in a man coverage. I showed this in previous videos as well, where you're basically guessing, okay, I mean, I know I'm in a man coverage, but for some reason it shows that my safety's not really man to anybody. And then the play starts and he man covers him sometimes and sometimes he doesn't. And sometimes he's just running wide open. I mean, that's crazy. Simple stuff like man, you need to add man alignment back too, by the way, or things like, you know, a function that used to be really uh, popular in Madden was to, to base align, base align, man align. Add that back to the game. That's a college 26 wish list. We need that. Okay, those were important functions that when they were taken away, I immediately called it before the game even came out because I heard that they took that out when I played the, the 25 beta. You need to have things like that to fix issues like that. If you come out and you see that your safety is not man aligned to somebody, you need to be able to man align them. Otherwise, you got to like use them or something. It makes no sense. And the same thing goes for pretty much every play art design. Like if you try to bring up your run fits, for some reason, if you come out of cover four where both the safeties are in run fits, or if you come out of cover two where both the cornerbacks are in run fits, for some reason, only one of them shows. So there's a lot of issues when it comes to simple play art. Sometimes when you try to make adjustments on offense, the play art isn't showing up. Like right now, what I've noticed recently is when I try to slide protection, you don't actually get to see how your protection is sliding. It's a total guesswork like the slide pro, which is a really good function. Once again, that was added this year, all of a sudden is not working. You can't, you try to slide pro and it doesn't really show you who's covering what. It doesn't show you where the running back's going. You just have to fucking guess. You know what I mean? It's like the stuff like that. Like you don't even have the ability to functionally you know, create plays properly in your offense. It's basically to the point where we're at. So there's a lot of issues in this game, but custom scouting is one of the biggest ones. That's one of the ones that I got from you guys the most. Um, where it's really costing a lot of issues. Uh, and like I said, saving historical info, a lot of really good information you guys are leaving in the comment section. Another one of the biggest issues that a lot of people are saying that their favorite plays aren't saving. I don't personally use that function, but I've seen a lot of comments of people saying that they can't save their favorite plays. But I, I don't know if this is an issue that affects everybody because I've seen some people say that it does work. So that's kind of one of those things that could be hit or miss. I don't know if it's an issue for everybody in the game. Once again, let everybody know in the comment section if you're having that issue because I'm not 100% sure. So I'm gonna go to end the video there. If you guys wanna see more about the previous videos that I referenced in this video about how the, the playbook, the custom playbook glitches and stuff like that, and some of the other issues that I talked about, I'll have that pop it up on screen. So just click the links and until next time, thanks for watching, man. Lace it out. Need more help or just wanna show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.